Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about troubleshooting for VLOOKUP. So I think a lot of you know that VLOOKUP is a very useful function for data analysis in Excel. So it's worth the time to really learn it in more depth and master it. Um, and I think if you have used it before, uh, you know that there are many cases where we look up might not work and it might not give you the number you want. And um, there are many reasons for that. And today I want to show you how you can use the invalidate formula to step into the formula you have and uh, debug step by step and to make your formula finally work. I have prepared five scenarios for today and I'm going to go through them one by one so I can hopefully cover as many kind of issues uh, as possible that you might encounter. Okay, so um, as a setup, today I'm we look up I'm um, we looking up for a designated group code, um, and it is actually from this list, um, which is a master list, um, and basically I'm trying to look up a group code um, for my business. I have my country list, my function job function list, my salary grades, and my job codes, and I have already down the step where I build up a VLOOKUP code with all of them basically concatenated, which is a unique code, um, which is always something you want to start with for VLOOKUP. And then for each of the VLOOKUP code, we have a designated group code um, for it. And this column here is basically what we want to um, refer back to fill a pop-up here. So as you can see from my uh, formula here I'm looking up to the lookup uh, sheet uh, from those two columns and I'm looking up to the second column and I just want numbers to show up okay so the first one does not show up uh, like this um, and let's see what the problem is so what I would do is go to the formulas tab and then go to the evaluate formula um, and just make sure you you have already selected the cell in trouble and then this is how the formula evaluate formula um, is going to look like it's going to look like every look like a uh, look at every single cell that you sell, you have and then basically you just do evaluate so when you click evaluate once it shows you the um, it shows you the uh, cell value of whatever you have and then click it a second time it, it step into it and basically show you whatever you have and then step into it and show you what you have and then select it and show you what you have and note everything that we had um, before worked well but then this one is shown a reference which means like that's a trouble so this is exactly the trouble where the issue is if we don't have a proper lookup code then we would not have a proper result right so this is so we now know that cell c14 is where the problem is so let's go back um go to cell c14 and then let's see okay so it is true that cell c14 um, is not working so it's linked to some other cell uh, which is also a formula but then this one does not work so i would know that okay i need to make this cell work uh, in order to make this work so that's what uh, that's how i can go to the uh, further debugging to look into this um, to look into this formula but then for today like just for simplicity i'm gonna overwrite this to something that makes sense um and then let's come up and see what the number is um or actually um if i select um if i have a proper i know if i have a proper range i'm gonna have uh exactly the code uh the lookup code that we want so let's test uh, let's verify this from our lookup range so we have united kingdom it and the salary grade 10 and job code 110 and then let's look into our um lookup range yeah so you see this is the range that we're looking at um 
and it should return 19 and then that's exactly what we have here okay so that is how we fix the first one um so let's look at now look at the second one so it's still also um not working so let's also step into our formula evaluate it um evaluate first our sourdough it 5102 um and it's not working so so it looks like the lookup um number is right um, and we also can see that we have IT, uh, El Salvador, IT5. We have the we look pod and we have the designated group, but it's not showing here. Why is that? So let's go back um, and then look at um, the values one by one. Okay, so now you see I have... Um, evaluated the lookup value and then it looks like our server dot it5102 and then let's go back to the uh, lookup here do you see any difference here um this is a very tricky one because not everyone can visualize this very easily because what we are missing here or what's wrong here is actually we have a space here. Do you see that? We actually have a space in between El Salvador and IT. And we don't have that in here. We don't have that in our VLOOKUP code. And that's exactly why the case, like why the problem. So how do we fix this one? So of course we now know that we need to fix it, um, make sure there's no space after Salvador. Um, and it looks like this is a um, lookup uh, drop down list. So let's go back to the data. So let's say this is a very comprehensive list. We have to, we don't know where the drop down list is. So that's uh, where you can go to data, data validation. I also have a uh, video on a data validation for dependent drop down list if you are interested. Uh, but here, let's see. Um, so data validation indirect B11. Uh, so let's see what B11 is. B11 is country. Okay, so this is a drop down list based on the name of a country. So again, if you're not familiar with the indirect uh, function, you can check my video on the dependent drop down list. So that means we have a list, we have a, a name list that's named with country and it's a drop down. So where I would do is I will go here uh, for the names, I will select country. And it brings me to the drop down list that we are using for this. And then actually go to El Salvador, double click. Do you see the, uh, do you see, do you now see the um, space there? Let's close it, enter. And then now we should not just reselect this. And then you see we have the desired uh, group code that we want. Okay, so that's the second scenario, and now let's move to the third. Uh, for the third one, um, it looks like we have the right uh, selection for everything, but then um, it is still not um, not working for the range. So let's check uh, in our original range to see if anything's wrong there. So UK IT5 and then job code is 110. So let's look into our lookup range for UK. And then we want to look for UK IT5 and 110. And do you see the problem here? The problem here is that we actually do not have such a range and that's why the lookup wouldn't work. So you can either um, fix it on the other end or you can also say like maybe just add the proper range and let's say look up to 19 and then you see okay so now it is looking up right so that's one thing to check like the original lookup range might not be right um, and that could be the result that you can't find the desired code 
Okay, so let's move to the fourth one. So um, it looks like, well, it's that's something we have. That's something we have in the range. Um, that's everything we have. But like, why is my range not like, why is my lookup not working? Um, and actually, um, if you look up here, you can see that your lookup code is perfect, right? But then you still don't get a result. And that's a sign that your range is not uh, correct. So now we have already confirmed that the range itself is there, right? Like it is there. Um, so it has to make sense. But then um, if it's not working, then it is also possible that uh, the lookup range is not right. And then do you see the lookup range is looking up to G to H in the lookup tab. And then let's see here. Okay, so it's actually looking at those two tabs and that uh, two columns versus like, no, we actually want you to look up to the column E to F. So this is a very, actually a very common mistake people make when they try to copy formula down. So if you have um, a right formula working here, but then you copy it down here, let's say if you have the formula up here and then you copy it down, the lookup um, will change uh, because it's a relative position, like the lookup range will change and then you wouldn't get the right lookup column that you're looking for. So a way to prevent this, um, of course, one way is that you can change manually um, back to something that you you like uh, to the right range. But then another way to do this is to make sure you have the absolute sign, the dollar sign in front of your columns. So then when you copy the formula down, do you see like the reference that, like does not change, it's an absolute reference. So that is also um, a possible reason that your lookup does not change. Okay, so now let's look at our fa uh, last scenario for today. So now we know that all the elements here are looking right, but then how come like it's actually, it is showing a number, but it's not showing the desired correct number that we want. And then actually that is also a very common mistake that people make. Um, which is you do not uh, or you forget to add the true or false uh, after the range reference. And um, most of the time, you would need to choose false, which is the exact match or zero to make sure that you're looking at the exact match that you're looking for. If you forget to put in the zero, then sometimes Excel will put up a, a process match, which is which could be a number, but it's not something that you're looking for, right? And you would almost always want a um, exact match for your data reference. So that is, um, so, as a recap, today I shared uh, five troubleshooting tips for lookup. Um, I have also um, made additional uh, videos on VLOOKUP errors uh, in my previous uh, videos and in my um, playlist of everything about VLOOKUP. And you can definitely go to check uh, those videos if you find this one helpful and uh, if you want to learn more um, anything new. Okay, so that's everything that I want to share today. If you like this video, please help to like it or subscribe. Um, and thank you so much for watching.